Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can flash Android Lollipop that is 5.0.2 on Samsung Tab S 10.5 inch Wi-Fi version. So guys, first you need to come to this particular web page. I will leave a link to this page in the description area below this video. So guys, once you are here, there are formats for other models too, but make sure that you download the appropriate model. Just scroll down. And this is the Lollipop 5.0.2 firmware for SMT800 model. So there are actually three versions. If you look closely, this is the this is for France, and this is for Canada, and this is for Cellular South, and by South they mean USA. So I have used Canada one on the tablet bought in USA, and I didn't had any problems. So I don't think you will have any problems either. So anyway, if you are from USA, go with the South version. So you can just click on this link and it will redirect you to the file hosting server. And from here, you can simply press this download button and it will start downloading the file. So guys, after you download the firmware, you need another software called Odin, which you can find by scrolling all the way to the bottom, not all the way, but in middle. So guys, this is the link to download Odin. Just click on it and it will show you a download link or it will directly download into your Chrome browser. So once you have both these files, you need to extract the 5.0.0 firmware. So this is the file that you are supposed to download and once you extract it, you will get this file which is around 2.34 GB. So once you have that, Open Odin 3.10 version. Make sure you open it in admin mode. So once you have this, now just power off your device. So guys, this is my device. Let me just turn it off. As you can see, it has a few apps, and there is my, and it also has some data, and it is running Android 4.4.2. So there you have it. So this is the KitKat. So for now, just power off, say OK. And now once it is powered off completely, you need to enter download mode. And to enter download mode, you need to press home, volume down and power button, three buttons at the same time until you see the screen. Now you need to press the volume up button and once you do that you will be in the downloading mode and now you need to connect your tab S to the computer and guys as you can see once you are connected on the Odin you will see a small confirmation like this that means that your computer has basically detected the tab S and once again I am reminding you it is a tab S 10.5 inch SMT800 model which is just the Wi-Fi edition so let's go on we need to flash the Android Lollipop firmware for that select AP and now browse through the folders and select the ROM so this is the file that you need to select not the zip file but the extracted file and once you select just leave the application alone for at least a minute because it will be generating an md5 and comparing with with the existing md5 just in case that you don't have a corrupted firmware in the meantime guys just in case if your device doesn't detect it's probably because you don't have the drivers installed in your system for the tab s so an easy way to install the drivers is by using an application called snappy Snappy is like a PC suit. So what it does is after you install Snappy, you connect your tab to the computer. Then the Snappy will recognize your device and download the appropriate drivers and install them. So after that, it will be able to detect your tab. So, so guys, as you can see, it has checked for the MD5 and finished successfully. Now you shouldn't touch any of these options. Just Click AP and select the file and once you do that there will be a tick box over here and all you need now and all you need to do now is simply press the start button. 
So now it will be flashing the firmware onto the tab S. So if you see, so guys, if you see the tab S now, there is a small progress bar down at the bottom, and once it is done, it will boot the device. So guys, I'm just going to fast forward the entire process, but it will take at least two to three minutes. So just wait for two to three minutes. So guys, as you can see, I still have all my previous apps and probably my data. And as of now, it is simply optimizing all the apps for Android Lollipop. Let's just give it some time. So guys, now the device is booted. So guys, this is the Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. So that's it guys, make sure that you have enough battery before you proceed and, and make sure that you download the correct version. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, then please let me know by commenting below this video. And if you found this video to be helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.